Uh, could you tell us about the speech of Chief Shinwalk delivered at Sault Ste. Marie, August 20th, 1849? How about I just say Shinwalk's speeches in 1849? Because he, he did a few. Um, these speeches and what they're getting at is an Anishinaabe right to the land. He is using um, usually um, imagery that the Americans signed treaties um, with the Anishinaabe, whereas the British government won't. So he's trying to shame them because there's this myth even in 1849, 1840 Canada that the Americans treat their Indians horribly and Canada does much better at it, right? Which is actually a huge myth. Um, and you know he's trying to shame the government of Canada into doing this. So he issues a whole series of speeches in the 1840s, and there's two or three in 1849, one of which I sent you guys to look at, and they're all arguing essentially is this is our land, you promised to help us, the Americans are doing this, why aren't you? And that you know that's the general tenor of all all these speeches, um, and they're interesting. Um, I mean they're all recorded in English and Shinwalk didn't speak English. So, I mean, there is, some, there is a translation issue there and what is actually being said. But when you read them, it comes across very strongly of this is our land. I mean, it might, might not be expressed perhaps as forcefully as he had done in Anishinaabe, but it's still there, right? Because a lot of the translators tended to tone down the aggressiveness of the speeches. But, I, you know, that speech you guys read, I mean, you can still see it's, it's, it's aggressive even though it's been toned down, right? It's... it's um, I find it funny because people will dismiss these speeches as well. They were translated. There's all these problems, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you read the thing and it's like, well, hold on. You know, you can still see that he's mad. You can still see that he wants the land recognized. You can still see these different things in them. It's like, yeah, you, you know, again, you've got to recognize they're translated and people tried to tone it down and make it more friendly sounding. But they're still not the most friendly in the terms, even though they've been toned down. So.